Hey guys, and in this video I will show you how to pair Apple Watch with iPhone. Apple has recently modified a way it works in the new iOS 11, so I wanted to show you the new method. Also, there have been released couple new models of the watch, so I know people are upgrading and switching through devices these days, and the way how to pair Apple Watch with iPhone might not be apparent for everyone. This is Apple Fox channel, and let's get started. Now, the very first thing you need to do in order to start pairing it is to turn it on. You can easily do that by holding down on the power button. It is the larger one on the right side. Hold it until you see the Apple logo show up. Once it is there, you just need to wait. It can actually last a while until something happens. That, of course, depends on the model you have, and the newer you have, the better and faster it will pair. Then, after you wait, you're gonna see the languages options you can pick from. I'll obviously go for English, and it tells me that I am low on battery and that I need to connect it to the charger in order to continue in the pairing process. So I need to bring my charger here and borrow the wall adapter from my iPhone because it didn't come in the box with sports version of the Apple Watch. The battery was on 23%, which is apparently not enough when it comes to connecting it with your iPhone. Anyways, then I need to click on a country and the watch now wants me to go over to the iPhone and open the watch application. This new effect is showing on the screen. It hasn't been here before in iOS 10, so inside the app on the iPhone, I just click on start pairing and point my camera on a weird, I don't even know what it is, the glowing circle, and the iPhone recognizes the device and can begin with the connecting. But there is a problem because it is not possible to connect an Apple Watch to an iPhone running iOS 11 unless the watch runs watchOS 4, which is of course the latest release. If I want to continue, the update needs to be installed. For this again, you need to have at least 50% of battery left on the actual watch, and also it still needs to be connected to the wall. My battery isn't charged enough, so it takes some time for it to charge to at least 50%. The other condition is that the iPhone needs to be nearby when doing it. Other way, it won't work. Keep in mind that if you're making it for the very first time, for example, when you just bought a brand new one, you won't have to deal with installing any updates at all. You will do the same, except for installing new versions of watchOS. Let's take a look, oh man, 49%, are you kidding me? Apple should let me install it even without the 1%, like for sure. Now finally it is installing, the screen of the watch tells me to follow the instructions of the iPhone, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. And as it is being installed, there is this nice animation where the circle represents the amount of update that has been installed already, if I explain it correctly. Anyways, when it makes a full 360 degrees, that will mean that the update has been finished. It definitely takes very long, we are halfway already and it took so long, and I want to remind you that it's not about the speed of my internet connection. The WatchOS 4 has already been downloaded but not installed, which means that only the installation process takes so long. Of course, it is a big update, I don't remember how big it was, but WatchOS 4, just like iOS 11, belongs to the major updates that come with number of new changes. Now, after it is installed, the watch tells me in many different languages that I have to bring my iPhone close to the smartwatch so it can finally be done. So apparently I'm gonna have to perform the scanning thing once again for some reason that is unclear to me right now. Here I can choose if I want to restore it from backup or set up as a brand new one. It really is up to me, but it wouldn't make sense if I set it as a brand new one, because I have all of my data stored on the iPhone. People who didn't have an Apple Watch earlier will have to go for the option that will set up a brand new Apple Watch without any data. Now just continue by clicking through these sort of like information pages. You can easily set up a passcode in case you want to have one. They are letting you know about the SOS feature and stuff like that. You really just need to get through this. So here begins the syncing section. That is because I selected that I want to restore it from backup and that is happening at the moment. By the time it is going on, Apple wants us to find out about the control features of the Apple Watch. Like what the scrolling wheel is capable of, how to scroll using your finger, or how to apply force press. It's not that difficult to find out by yourself, really just press firmly and that's it, but they included it here as well. And congratulations, your Apple Watch has been successfully set up and is ready to use. By the way, this is the new dock present in watchOS 4. There are also many other great features new in this version. Let me know if I should make a video specifically about this new version of watchOS. And that's it. We have got to the end of this video. I really hope I could really help someone. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. Want to see more videos? Then click the subscribe button. It's that easy. Have a great day and see you next time.